Just another ordinary day as a cat going fishing. But we're not going to catch fish today, we're going to catch food. And as we catch our food, our current food eats that food for some reason. Yum, it says. Okay, hopefully it doesn't eat the next one we catch because I kind of need that for profit. And we at least got one. And it eats and ate that one too. Well, there's a way to solve this. I can just eat this burger. But I also want to catch some stuff and make myself rich. So can we get to that part? Okay, so he finally spit out $100 because I assume he's like the bank. Instead of selling the food, he's going to eat it and spit out money. And he spat out another 100, so it looks like we're getting 100 per burger. So the name of the game is just catch as many fish as possible. And I think we finally got our first upgrade. Capacity is now two foods, so I think I can catch two at a time. I can see how this is going to get really addictive really quickly. Two at a time till we get our uh, extra depth, probably for better foods. I want to call them fish, but fish aren't food, obviously. So there's our new depth. Cost $600. What's down here? Oh, we get like... I don't know what they are. Some kind of food. Okay, we now have a dragon fruit helper. So, oh, a treasure chest. What's in a treasure chest? I didn't know there's new stuff to find. What do you do? What's inside you? You're not supposed to ask people that. I get yelled at every time I ask people that. I wasted my time catching you and now I have to listen to you talk? Could I just push it back in the water? Well, whatever the case, uh, we're going to catch a little bit of everything because I think we still need some burgers. Although maybe not. Maybe it's just more worth my time. Yep, it certainly is. All we're going to do is catch dragon fruit as much as we can. And I think after this successful cast, we're going to be able to get more capacity. From two foods to three, we can catch three dragon fruits or whatever all in one single cast. And I just realized the treasure chest is slowly filling up. He's like a quarter of the way done. So at this rate, he'll be done within five whole minutes. And this lonely cast should get us all the way up to more depth. So we can catch whatever else is lurking down there. Which appears to be a house with a cat in it. Because of course... That makes perfect sense when you think about it. It seems to be a cat cafe. Basically, this cat cafe uh, just does stuff where the game is idle. So while the app isn't open, I get this stuff, which is worth some money. All right, so apparently his stuff was worth quite a bit of money. We have $1,700. So we're just going to keep fishing. We're only catching dragon fruit still, but that'll be over soon because we're going to go deeper. And we got some kind of bonus for that. I don't know whether we got a three times multiplier, but we did. Maybe because we got three of the same thing. There's the key, a key for the chest. But this should increase the capacity now, so we should be able to catch four things at once. So our production's going up. And it's going to be hard to catch uh, four dragon fruits, so we're probably going to have to settle for a burger once in a while too. As long as I'm making money, I don't really care. Okay, the chest is ready to be opened. Here's four capacity boosts. Interesting. And he's offering me more for watching an ad. Sure, why not? I assume these are just temporary, but I'm going to be able to catch a whole bunch of things so long as I have them active. Look at all the money we're going to make there. Yeah, this is kind of an addictive feeling. I'm going to like this a lot. Get in the boat. Everything. And we got more depth out of it, so we're going deeper. Oh, we got fries down here. We're going to catch so much food this way. I'm not really sure what the fries do. They talk too much. I just had to listen to the fries talk, which is super annoying. So now I'm going to catch more and feed them to each other. Because I support cannibalism. And there we go. I think we got a little more depth already. Uh, we got whatever that is. And uh, I'm already forgetting what I'm supposed to be catching. A portal. Why do you get a portal on your cafe? I want the portal. Do we do we touch it? Whoa, the portal duplicated the foods I caught. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Anyways, we're going to boost our capacity to 5 plus the bonus 8. So I think we should get 13 things per cast, including a new treasure chest. I can't remember the treasure chest had in it, but we'll take more. You guys eat up, and we're gonna cast again. And the portal apparently is powered by love. Oh, never mind. It's powered by watching ads. Of course it is. Well, I do still have an 8 boost, so I might as well do the portal thing now. That's how they get you. That was a beautiful ad. Uh, the portals, I assume, are just active then automatically, so let's make this one count. Catching as many fries as we can, and then dragon fruits. Yeah, this will be worth a few dollars all by itself, because those are all gonna duplicate. Yeah, that felt good. But now we don't really have an active booster, so we're back to catching just five or ten at a time. I did just notice something else. I think it was a shovel, so we're going to try hard to catch that while also going a little bit deeper. Oh, now we catch, like, uh, teacups? I didn't see the other thing again, but we got teacups now, and those are probably worth a lot. 400. Cranberry. Because, of course, that's what would be next. So, I'm going to try and stick mostly to those. This is a very strange concept for a game, but it's absolutely wonderful. I'm out of portals. I could watch another ad, but I'm not going to right now. It's probably faster for me to just not do that. We're going deeper for 12,000. What's way down here? Oh, hot dogs. At least I think they're hot dogs. They're also the annoying talk. There's a watermelon in a boat. The watermelon can bring me to different places when I get more food. And the hot dog wishes it was more cloudy today. Anyways, I'm going to go back to fishing now. I'm pretending uh, that didn't happen. There's a shovel. Did I get it? What does a shovel do? We got a shovel. Okay, it looks like we have one of three shovels in the upper left. So we need to catch three of them, I think. 
now we're getting four capacity boosts. So now would be a great time to uh, watch an ad, then also a portal. Okay, now we have huge capacity boost plus double multiplier things. So we're going to get lots of hot dogs out of this. That's a statement I thought I would be saying today. We're going to go from 7,300 to 24,000. I like that rate of uh, getting rich. It's a very simple yet very satisfying concept. I wouldn't mind finding more of the rare stuff, but for now we'll take extra capacity. Can't wait till we're making like a million dollars per cast. But for now, we'll settle for the 15, 20,000 we seem to be making. From 30 to 48. Ooh, there's a, another shovel. And there was a chest also, but I don't think we caught the chest. We can go deeper, and to celebrate that, let's get another portal. So we're going deeper than ever, and we've got onions. There's a new treasure chest and hot dogs. Onions and hot dogs, winning combination. Plus all that money. Oh, it's garlic. My mistake, I wonder at what point the watermelon in the boat is going to be of service to us. So island 1 we have 6 of 30, island 2 we need 24 more. There's going to be a lot of foods apparently, so we need to get to work. But we got extra depth already, so let's see what's even deeper. I think those are potatoes. They seem to be some kind of, yep, just a potato. But the watermelon seems to like me, you discovered enough food to go to the farm. So there's 80 things to catch on the farm or grow. I'm not entirely sure what's, what's happening right now, but there's a burger going around eating fries. I'm very confused, but we're going to go ahead and click on this and we get a second burger to eat the fries. I guess this is just a passive thing that kind of happens. Uh, they look very happy. The fries, maybe not so much, but whatever the case, I think this is going to make me money. So we'll have to come back and check on here. We're going to spend 100 to get. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back later. I'm not here to farm. I'm here to fish. Fish for food. Also chopped up my portals again because we don't have time to wait. Got my third shovel though, so we're going to find out what the shovels do now too. Tap to dig. Okay, we're fishing, we're farming, and we're digging. Best reward hat. Here. Here. And there. There we go, we got a hat. And just like magic, we got another three shovels, so let's see what's... I can live with that. And another three shovels, because we just want all the rewards. So I found the hat uh, right away. Does the hat do anything? It appears not. That's okay, because I think we've got massive capacity right now for catching food. Yeah, we're going to catch a lot of things, plus we're going to double this at the top. So look at it all. Yeah, that's all the right stuff. And the chest is ready to be opened, so that's going to give us four capacity boosts on top of our already capacity boosts. So we're just going to stack all sorts of bonuses on top of each other until we have so much food that we own the universe. $210,000, $165,000 spent on more capacity, which apparently is already maxed. At least for this level, we should be able to go to new levels soon. At least I hope so. We just went from 101000 up to 157,000, so about 60,000 per cast. Level 9 depth. There's another shovel, and I can't really see what that is. That might have been cheese. We'll find out right now. It's a lemon tart. Those obviously naturally hang out in the ocean. We'll take another treasure chest while missing the other lemon tart. And now we get level 10 depth. So we're going ever deeper, and we got like cheese wheels or something here. Hopefully those are worth a lot of money. And it looks like they might be. But does the cheese have a purpose? You look stressed. I'm just tired of living in this game. If someone says, say cheese one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Say cheese. Why are you doing this to me? Well, because you can't do anything about it. End my suffering. Please install end my suffering. Sure thing. Thanks, it was nice knowing you. I'm not uninstalling. The cheese needs to suffer, and we're gonna feed more cheese to the cheese. It's just a perpetual cycle of suffering. We're feeding the suffering to the suffering. And our chest is once again ready to be open. There's four capacity boosts. Plus a few extras because I'm shameless like that. I feel like we're making a lot of money of a cast right now, especially when I'm getting lots of the cheese and the good stuff. 310,000 all the way up to 422, so $110,000 for that single cast. And I kind of forgot about my farm, so... Okay, it's still just working its way along. I finally just read the thing and realized that I need to respawn the fries uh, in front of them to make this go. Uh, I'd really rather they just kind of go by themselves without me having to do this. But I can also unlock there, so now we have rice also eating burgers. Very interesting game. I don't know if this benefits me in any way, we're just working our way up. Okay, I'm going back to fishing, because I believe we're hitting new depths now, so we're finding whatever these things are, and we've got lots of them on the hook. And these are probably going to be worth even more. Passion fruit. They're very passionate. They don't talk, so they're my favorite. And what are we making per cast? 166? All the way up to 316, so like 160,000. Plus we get more depth, so do we find something? We get bread. Everyone loves bread. Bread's the best. 40,000, all the way up to... Oh, he talks. 40,000, so 160,000 again. Hi, bread, what do you want? Basically, shut up. Pretty soon we'll be making a million dollars per cast. Caught another treasure chest. In more depth already. We're just working our way down at rapid speed. Now we got red fuzzy, like, bombs. I have no... It's like a fuzzy cherry. 
Right. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but we got some. The watermelon will bring us to a new area now if we want. Okay, so I guess we're going to merge. Tap for food. Okay. Tap to fish faster. Oh, I see. We just continually pull uh, food out of the water as long as we're tapping. So tap for food. Drag foods together. So we put them together. Now we create gingerbread man. Okay, I can also see this getting very addictive very quickly. I think we're going to need two avocados to turn into gingerbread man, to turn into something new, popcorn. So, um, did I just screw this up? What happens if we put those together? Nothing. Not entirely sure how this is going to work, but now we have eclair. But nothing's going to get really expensive really quickly. Oh, I got to tap the cat to make it go quicker. That makes sense. And of course, as we're going, things are getting more and more expensive. So avocado into gingerbread man, into popcorn, into eclair, into peas. And we get a reward for that. And it just told me I could hold that down to basically do this. So now we're going to do this. And, um, yeah, okay, so we're just going to keep going with this for a moment. Basically, things are getting annoyingly expensive now, so it's going to be a minute before we can merge the pea with anything. So, avocado into gingerbread man, into popcorn, into eclair, into peas, peas into milk. I'll take the reward, and I want to go back to the other's place now. Not really sure what the point of uh, working my way up there is, but I want to go back to catching whatever these things were called, because I already forgot. And there's our third shovel. Now we get to dig. Hopefully for some amazing kind of treasure. Uh, the hat was okay last time, but we can do better. There's another three shovels, so we're going to scoop up all of those, including the police hat. And for the final three, uh, extra multipliers, and yep, I'll take that all day long. Now we're going to catch a million things all at once, and we're going to double the value of it once it makes it all the way to the surface. I guess I can't really say get in the boat now, but get in my mouth also works. Uh, the treasure chest is also ready to be opened so there's extra capacity boosts. And we're now catching whatever these things are. It's hard to remember what the most valuable things are to catch. But there's 180,000 up to 436. So that's over a quarter of a million. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. It's the cake's birthday. He turns 23 today. So old. Anyways, let's go back to catching the valuables, which is mostly the cake and then the red things. And then I think the bread. And there's even more depth, so we're going to catch something even newer which are whatever these are and then the cake. And this is going to be worth a lot because it basically had no money. Now we have 289, so about a quarter million still. My favorite foods are the ones that don't talk, so I don't have to listen to them. I can just continue on fishing for more cake. And we just bought even more depth for whatever these things are. Hopefully they're a very quiet food. This is a cinnamon bun. Truly one of the greatest foods of all, and I feel like that was worth a lot. Do you think I'm cute? No. 450,000 up to 800,000, so it was almost 400,000 for that one. So we're getting into the valuable stuff now, especially with these. So as long as I get all the boosts on, uh, it tells me the readout every time I never realize that either. There was 400,000, but with the boost on, we're getting new depth pretty much every cast. And that's just great, because now we got like... Uh, square pumpkins. But we're definitely making more money than ever before, even without our multipliers right now, not the extra cast. That was worth 134,000 by itself. Now we get a bunch of boosts, plus extra depth for new food and new value donuts, it looks like. Lots of donuts. I get so overwhelmed with everything to catch that I end up missing it all. But that should be worth a lot. We're at 17 of the 30 possible foods to catch here, so we've got a little ways to go still. But in case you're wondering about the value, that was worth 400,000. Oh, and there's a... I don't know what that is, but we got it. It's the wall of the house that's also asleep, because that makes perfect sense. Okay. He's got a wall over there that's just asleep and he can't wake it up. I feel like that'll make more sense in a moment. We got hot peppers now too to go along with everything else. Again, I'm losing track of what I'm supposed to be catching. Oh, I missed the potion thing too. Maybe that wakes up the wall. I didn't get a lot of peppers there, but that should be pretty good value. There's 412,000. Let's hopefully catch whatever that is that I'm missing. Potion. Looks like that woke up the wall, which makes his house float because of course it does. Uh, apparently we're <laughs> going to take him to the other house. Uh, sorry to the other. Okay, this makes perfect sense. We're now hallucinating and catching rocks. Now there's a cat flying a plane and a pepper driving a car. This is all going perfectly to plan. I think that just said we're going to get extra uh, value for our coins. Double the value. Anyways, his house is back asleep, so I assume we can't do that again for a little while. And now we're catching like the heads of kittens or something. Uh, none. It's a fortune cookie. Okay. And I've just been told that my offline uh, earnings are ready, so we're going to collect all of those. And I guess put them all together, even though it's not enough to really make anything out of. But thanks, please let me know next time we can waste my time. Although it might have been closer than I thought, but we're still, yeah, a ways away from getting anything. So, can we go back to fishing now? I don't really want to talk to this. So, yeah, we're just going to catch more of these as much as we can. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that's going to make us some money. That was a small cast, but that was still worth 187,000. And we got an extra depth, uh, plus uh, shovels again. And amongst its many treasures, it yielded me a wizard's hat. So now we're cat 
fishing in a wizard's hat. But we are also finding what I think is pumpkin pie. And these casts are going to be worth a fortune at this point because look at all the stuff we're going to get. That was worth about 700,000 by itself. And I think we could probably do even better. Uh, just got to get a little more of the good stuff. That was only worth 500,000. So whatever, we'll get there as we get there. But the house is ready to fly again. So we're going to do another one of these casts, I guess, and hopefully get some of the good stuff. As much of it as we can take. That was worth 840,000. And we have a level up. Oh, I see. The foods that have cars, I think, get extra value, if I'm understanding this correctly. Just like in real life, food in a car is better. And I think we actually got two new foods here. One of which is a scone, and the other is a whatever this thing is. We have a million dollars and we're taking a cast now so upgrades are getting expensive but we're starting to make a lot of money per cast as well. This one was worth a modest 882,000 and we get new depth. So from here we're gonna get all sorts of watermelons uh, apparently. I can't even wait to see what the kind of value we're gonna get out of this. So we're going from 255,000. Yeah we get a bit of a million dollars for that and we get new depth right away because we're just making way too much money. Okay yes we've caught in sushi. Uh, it's quite valuable but we need to find out what comes after sushi. But I think we also just caught another upgrade for our flying house, so we're going to get on that. And we're now picking up emeralds. Uh, wow, we don't have a lot of capacity there. But that's okay, we got some level up for the sushi, which is very valuable. So let's uh, catch as much sushi as we possibly can, which isn't a lot right now because we don't have a lot of capacity. But even that, a regular cast, 400,000. So if we had a capacity boost and catch all the sushi we can, uh, that wasn't a very good cast. But this will be worth a lot. There's an easy 800,000. Okay, really got to focus on the sushis. Uh, as we miss like every one of them. Good job. But what comes after sushi is the million dollar question. Treasure chest and bowls of soup. Miss the shovel, but I don't really care about the shovels right now. It gets so stressful trying to catch everything. Casual games get way too stressful. Oatmeal? What's oatmeal doing so far down there? Lurking just above whatever these are. Okay. Well, it should be a pretty valuable cast at the very least. What do we get for this one? For the walnuts, again about 800,000, which isn't too bad, and I can't wait to see what lurks down deeper at the very bottom. But that's next time.